Hello folks, welcome to Cartoony Gameplay. Um, before we get started, I'd just like to apologize for the last uh, game that we played here, uh, Spongebob Underpants Slam. Um, you said it weird, sorry. Um, if you're wondering what, if you ever, if you were hearing any like noise in the background, that was because our Xbox 360 was on the desk with the phone that we used to record. Yeah, that, uh, that was not cool. Huh. So yeah, we have it. Uh, we moved it down. So hopefully that will not make as much noise, or the noise won't be as much of a problem. And if you hear any breathing in the background, that's our dog. He's sleeping in here. Yeah. Anyway, it is time for the next game in the SpongeBob Marathon, SpongeBob Truth or Square, which is developed by Heavy Iron Studios. We haven't seen them since the SpongeBob movie. So let's see if this is gonna be good. Yes. All right. Begin. Now, it's also worth noting that this game came out the same year as the special because this was SpongeBob's 10th anniversary. And it also was released um Nickelodeon was of course Rushing to get it out to tie in Just like the movie. Oh, it's up again. That wasn't really much of their fault because they had to work They just they started development on that like right after battle for bikini bottom. Yeah, good point And also it's also worth pointing out that heavy iron this was five years after the movie game so Yeah, this technically is a different completely different heavy iron. We're looking at here. Yeah so there will be some disappointments so, bear with us. Here we are. I wonder if there's a button for finishing your homework. Huh. <laughs> I wish. Be hilarious. Alright, new game. Let's go. Eleventy seventh. <laughs> ah yes. Oh, Gary, that will never I'm not so be excited. funny. I can't uh, tomorrow is the eleventy seventh anniversary of the Krusty Krab. I've heard oh, eleventy before, but where? Right, but where? Mr. I think it was Rugrat Studio Tour. Lil said it. All oh, right, I forgot. We might play that game in the future. All right. SpongeBob, look sharp, me boy. Oh God. Tomorrow is a very important day. This is the. It's supposed to be the 10th anniversary. They didn't get Clancy Brown. Yeah, that's hilarious. Is this Joe White? Nope. This is Bob Joles, who would later become the voice of Man Ray. Oh my god. I'll say that I personally prefer Bob Joles. Why is there a subtitle for a title card? That makes no sense. Patrick. Nice hat. Oh no, Patrick. His pants the are a bit different. There's a line around his pants. Pocket. It's not there. Oh, mm. Hey, hey, maybe it's in my pocket. Nope. Okay, SpongeBob, don't panic. I can feel my normally carefree uh, jovial attitude dissolving away. He's much more that animated, mean? I'll tell you that. It means <laughs> I'm sad, and when I'm sad, I can't remember anything. Patrick, we need to find that formula okay. before you know who does. P-L-A-N-K... P-O-N! <laughs> How long have you been there? Long enough to know you're in big trouble. He has a different model. Yeah, his model's very different. Well, SpongeBob, seeing as we I think he's the only one that really looks a lot different. It seems only right that I help you remember where you put the formula. <laughs> oh, that would be so nice of you, Plankton. I'd love your help. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, How do I know you're not just trying to get the formula all for yourself? Can we turn off those subtitles? Um, yeah, we can. On his face? <laughs> then okay, let's find that formula. I'm surprised you trusted that. Okay, let's review, shall we? Step one, strap sleeping SpongeBob into chair. Check. Okay. That wasn't Step a chair. Two, shrink box. Check. But step three, do laundry. I mean, <laughs> search bots into brain. Check. Uh. Step four, turn on remote. Check and double check. 
Now, with this control, I'll guide my precious nanobots into the deepest recesses of SpongeBob's tiny mind. SpongeBob. Somebody already said that. The precise location of the Krabby Patty secret formula once and for all. It couldn't be easier. <laughs> really? Oh my God. Okay, change of plans. I will now enter SpongeBob's brain and find the formula myself. Oh great. So wait, oh, how about us? What the? Um, we're back here. I'm confused. Um. I'd rather be jelly fishing. Hey, that'd make a good bumper sticker. Uh, anyway, uh, we're now in SpongeBob's house. It's a lot bigger than it was in Battle for Bikini Bottom. Yeah. What the? Yeah. He press A during some of the or, around certain objects. You get stuff. Uh. I've met. Don't want to know that. I am the sponge. Where are we going? Mm -hmm. Limes, okay, yeah, sure. Let me pause the game for a second. Options. Oh, subtitles, here they are. No subtitles, Squidward. Alright. Upgrades in SpongeBob's place. Yeah, you can actually buy like updated things. Yeah. Maybe if I stand here long enough, the meow. Nope. Happy oh, thank you, Gary. Bye -bye. <laughs> that was a lot. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, there's nothing new. Let's get the show on the road. Oh, I thought that was the audio quality messing up. That's just the record thingy here. Phonograph, whatever it's called. All right. Patrick. So let me get this straight. The only way you're going to remember where you put the formula is if you're happy. Uh, that's my key story. Yeah. Seriously, SpongeBob, how hard can it be to make you happy? Oh, oh wait a second. Remember when we were jellyfishing? That made you happy. Wow, Patrick, I feel happier already. We've struck a memory uh. fissure. Let's dig deeper. Okay then. Um, so by the way, this um, this game doesn't follow the story of the special. If anything, it actually uh, it actually references and like the levels are based on episodes of the show. It's like Search for Reptar, but a little bit better. Yeah. Um. Wait, I didn't get to. Oh, I didn't get to read that one. Dang it! This is like trivia. So this is based on the season one episode, Jelly Fishing. Yes. Them, what with all the fun you were having. Yeah, you're right, Plankton. We probably just didn't notice them. Okay, then. What the? Sma oh, slam. Okay. Okay, then. So here we are. I'll say this. Um, this is one of the nicest looking SpongeBob games out there. At least at, as of right now. I mean... Rehydrated is making this game look obsolete, but it's still worth mentioning. Yeah. Would even go to as far as saying that this game looks better than that other game that we don't want to talk about. Yeah. We don't even want to mention it. Oh, what's up? Yeah, I think they tried making the music loop, but personally, they didn't really do a good job doing it. Uh, it's also worth mentioning that all the levels in this game are, uh, they're basically, uh, they have themes of, um, from the show. People have complained about that, saying that they're full-on reusing locations from Battle for Bikini Bottom. But if you want our honest opinion, if you're talking about, like, classic Spongebob locations, how many are there? Yeah, it's like, a, it's like Battle for Bikini Bottom and used all of them. So, I mean, like, the only ones I can really think of are the Carnival and the, the Glove World and all that. And, you know, like, those are the only ones I can really think of. So, yeah, that's the point I'm trying to prove here. So, personally, uh, them reusing the music, sure, that's a little bit, eh, because, you know, 
But uh, them reusing the locations, I don't really. Well, I mean, if it was the like the level models, then like the an exact like same like layout as like in Battle for Bikini Bottom, then we'd be disappointed. But uh, no, this is, you know, this isn't really much of a problem to us. Yeah, that's like one often complained thing about this game. Yeah. Right, let's go over here because this, this is open now. Alright, by the way, this little plankton thing. It acts like a wooden tiki. Yeah, they apparently are brand new, like, little tiki thingies. Except they're themed after characters. Yes. Let's get those ones over there. Oh, we got a game to play, Bart. Oh, fine, okay. Alright, keep it moving. Happy, happy, I see Kevin C. Cucumber! <laughs> oh, great. Alright. So, um, if you couldn't tell, this game mainly has to do a lot with destroying robots. A lot of robots. Yeah. Um, however, we will say, if you can argue that that is tedious, personally, there's one game that we're gonna get to soon that makes this game look a lot less tedious. Yes. And uh, we don't want to talk about it because personally it is a shit show. The <laughs> shit show. Alright. You we apologize very badly. Somebody called us while we were recording. Great. Just great. What the heck is that? Oh yeah, if you wait long enough, SpongeBob starts, you know, joking. Oh my god! His, his skin just mold these just, just rots off. That is okay. Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Let's continue. We apologize about that. Again, a low budget show is very low budget. To the point we're using our phone as a recording microphone thingy comes with consequences. Look at this. The floating tiki's are shaped like the Dutchman. That's hilarious. What if I can hit him from here? Was he about to say something? Ah, uh, yes. But he stopped himself. I think he knew what he was about to say. All right. Let's hope nothing like that happens again. Worst part is that we don't even know what time to stop. So if this game goes over 45 minutes, then that's not good for us considering the stinking time limit. I still don't know why people recommended us to Blair. I mean, there are a lot of people who are surviving on YouTube for many reasons, despite the fact the kind of content they make. Alright. Uh, is that even... I have no idea. Um... What the... What the... Oh, well, that goes that guy. Wait, is real, you have lives in this game? Yeah, there's lives in this game. Well, that's a bit of a downgrade. What happened? Uh, okay. Oh, dang, I forgot to say something. Uh... There is like co-op mode, like super, it's like Super Mario Galaxy kind of style. Yeah. Um. And uh, it's basically, if you have, it's like Plankton comes out, and there's actually unique dialogue that happens when he's out. We might just, we might enable a second controller 
in a future part just so you can hear some of the stuff. Yeah. Alright. So you. Yeah. Patrick. Um, wait, why don't we just chase him after you, Patrick? God dang it, Patrick. So, um, it's also worth noting that, um, once you complete the level, you can come back and collect stuff. Yeah. We're personally not gonna do that. We'll probably try doing that with the pa- Oh, wait, no, the second level requires something else. Oh. Uh, well, never mind. Let's keep moving. Huh. I like that. I don't know why, just, there's something about that I find funny. Alright. You. Well, that rainbow is invincibility. It is. Oh, God. Don't stand still. Oh my god, okay. Oh! Did that count as a hit? It better not have. It'd be really cheap if it did. Wait, let me get that over there. Onward. Is this meant to be like a shipwreck or something? I think so. Weird. We have not seen a shipwreck in like a jellyfish field level. Well, we only saw that in like Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Huh. That was dumb. Right. We apologize for that. There we go, that's how it's done. Alright. Why are there skeletons underwater? <laughs> Did people die? Oh, Grant. Um, can we collect an item, please? Or a coin, please? Why? Oh, dang! There. Good. Uh, find a way to... Yeah, okay. Ooh, shiny. Okay, Squidward is meant to be the stone tiki's. Uh, there we go. Oh, no. Wait, hold on. Yeah, we got... We're muscle bob buff pants now. <laughs> Or whatever. We got a problem here. We're gonna get sued for this. What? Oh, what? Yeah, we're, there's this game not only reuses music from Battle for Bikini Bottom and the movie game, it also reuses music from the show. Yeah, that's scary. Especially for the last two games we're playing for this marathon. Yeah. Unless we do another one where we cover handheld stuff and all that. Yeah. Or ports. Yeah, ports. Alright. I mean, we didn't get in trouble for you for the Goofy Goofy Rock song in the movie game. Yeah. Again, that wasn't our fault. Heavy Iron put it in there. And Heavy Iron put it in this, the, 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 the stock music in this. I mean, production music, whatever it's called. It's not stock music, Bart. Alright. 
go. Oh, we can do this. So this is basically like, it's kind of like Super Mario. It's like we got a mushroom and now we're, oh my God, make it up there. Um, I can't get up there for some reason. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got Larry here. Although, you have to, it's, that's how you get like SpongeBob items or mem like, reference items. I don't know, it's what they're called. We forgot. It's been a while since we played this. Also, this is one of those games where it requires two controllers in order to get all the achievements. Yeah, that's that's just not fun. And hey, a later game that we're going to take a look at does it worse. And then another game does it as well, but it's not as bad. Alright. We're almost to the end of the stage. It's over there. There's stuff over here. Look at it's a crappy kid's meal. It's a crusty kid's meal, whatever. Give me. What is it, a cr crusty kid's meal or a crappy kitty meal? Whatever. Give me. Oh yeah, the, cr the crusty meals, whatever they're called. Um, they give you, um, they give you uh, concept art. Yeah, concept, concept art. They give you concept art, generic images of the characters, generic stock images of the characters, I mean, and then a bunch of other junk. Stills from the show, that kind of thing. Alright, let's go. I can see the Krusty Krab over there. Why is a chum bucket next to the Krusty Krab instead of being across the street? Oh god, it's weird when a game does that. The freaking Jimmy Neutron ride did that. Yeah. I mean, they, not only that, they messed up the layout of, like, the Rugrats house. The Pickles house. That's what it is. Whatever. Jimmy called it the Rugrats house. Yeah, that was when nobody gave a that's when I, That's when nobody gave a shit about Rugrats. Okay, Patrick! Okay, we gotta destroy. Oh, my God. It's the giant stone Spongebobs from that crappy episode. Yeah, Heavy Iron also references the newer episodes in this game. If you could believe that. For his use of SpongeBob as the hammer. Less than one. I thought I was about to lose that. Jimmy. Huh. Last one. Here we go. Alright. We got a jellyfishing net. And the stock music. Alright, SpongeBob. Uh, happiness objects, that's what they were called. Here we go. Where's Squidward? Where's the giant jellyfish? Where is the. whatever that music piece was called? Uh, the only thing that's missing here. Why, why, why wasn't Squidward? Okay, now Larry and the teleport. It's called Tiki Challenge. Whatever, I don't care. All the Tiki Challenges give you more happiness objects. And uh, where do Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy live? Shady Shoals. <laughs> Tentacle Acres is a... There's a... Oh, great. Ah... Uh, Great. We'll be right back. I hope this did not ruin the game data. Okay, guys, we're back. Oh my god. It's like it's like they really don't want to... Jesus. It's like the fates are really against us. Uh, whatever. 
So, okay, I don't know why the disc was perfectly... Shut up. Hey, make a good bumper sticker. The disc was perfectly clean when we... Oh, forget it. Whatever. We have we didn't lose any of our progress, though, so that's good. So, this concludes cartoon and gameplay. That was a mess, honestly. Well, then, could you do me a favor? Whatever your little heart desires, my big square fool. Great. Could you scratch my frontal lobe? Yike. Ha! <laughs> What the? <laughs> Patrick, I got like the noises he makes here. <laughs> so, what do you make a rap out of that? Uh, whatever. Um, but yeah, this concludes cartoony gameplay. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Hopefully, they won't happen again. Uh, thank you, you all for watching. Like just one big game? Did you have to break the fourth wall? Don't forget to comment, like, and follow. If you want more SpongeBob, check out the Mike's Toontown archives or the rest well, of the channel. Or the rest of our channel. And uh, we'll be seeing you soon. And uh, probably next part we'll show off Plankton. Yeah. Would that mean I'll be able to play? No. Oh. We'll be seeing you.